Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nathan and welcome back to Snacks Salute. Now today I have a few more Taiwanese snacks. I think I'm just going to call this video trying Taiwanese snacks or something because I can't really put these into a certain category if that makes sense. They're all kind of different. I'm going to start off with this. This is another one of those corn sticks. Obviously I've done these in the past from I think Thailand actually does a lot of these. But this is literally a seaweed corn bar. So I don't know if it's actually going to be corn flavoured or not. It does have corn on the bottom, so I'm pretty sure it is going to be corn flavoured. Let's get this open. Okay, it looks very similar to the other ones I've tried, and I'm getting crumbs everywhere. Oh god. Yeah, that's, this is making a mess. Okay. I'm just going to take a bite out of this. Definitely tastes like corn. Yeah, it's literally as if they've got like a corn on the cob, managed to put it in like a chip sort of texture. And that's the only taste you get. I happen to be someone that does like corn, so I actually do like this. Next up, I have something by the Mincher brand, and this is a taro wafer. Obviously, I've had taro flavored things in the past, it's a root vegetable. Generally, I do like it, but we'll see about this. Okay, here's what it looks like. Just a solid wafer with different layers on it. it doesn't really have much smell, you just smell the actual wafer. I think this breaks in two. No, it actually doesn't. Okay. Let's give this a try then. You can't see anything. I've got to say, there's not much flavour to it. Taro itself isn't very flavourful. It's basically like a, I wouldn't even say it's got as much flavouring as a potato. So yeah, that's just like eating plain wafer biscuits. And then I have this. This is again by the Mincher brand. This is a spicy scallion stick. No idea why it's got a baseball bat on the front. I hate onions and scallions and things like that, so this is going to be interesting. Hey, here's what it looks like. There's a lot of like spices and sesame seeds on there. I can already smell the scallions. Give this a try. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, you can taste the scallions, but it's not too overpowering. I expected it to be a lot worse when I looked at it and I saw all the, especially the green, because that's obviously scallion. But it wasn't too bad at all. There's a lot of flavour to it, I will say. Now last up, I just have this. This is a black sesame cake. Obviously, it's covered in black sesame seeds, which I do like. So I think this is going to be good. Not sure what the inside is, though. Yeah, it just says sesame cake products of Taiwan. So yeah, let's get this open. Okay. No smell to it. it doesn't even smell like sesame seeds. Oh god, it's hard. It's sweet as well. Not too sure what to make of that. It has a burning taste, like burnt toast. And then obviously it's covered in sesame seeds. Yeah, I don't think I like this one. It's like the first thing in a while that I can honestly say I don't like. But yeah, I'm glad I tried it anyway to know. But yeah, this one is a no from me. Everything else there was decent, um, like I said. The taro was a little bit bland, but it was still, you know, edible. It wasn't off putting like the sesame cake and all the other stuff was just decent so yeah that's it for this video guys like i said i've got maybe one more taiwan video coming up so look out for that if you have any more suggestions leave them in the comments below please remember to rate comment subscribe until next time see ya